Example for next input text is input is type number. You can see this input will be symbol arrow up and down right side. Most I macro will not be able to fill in this input. The way I like to do it is, I use jQuery API change type of input to type text. How use jQuery for change type? You must ask a this web page used API jQuery or not. In video this web page used API jQuery. After that you must write jQuery by command URL go to of i macros see an example in video. Because the input attribute we want to change the fill type does not have a reference attribute. We need to change the coordinates for jQuery to reference labels that are positioned near the input. See example in video. As mentioned earlier, input we are working does not have the attribute referenced. So we have to create our attribution attribute on this input to reference I macro. Every line is use command jQuery you must use command void 0 close all time. To part jQuery we will use command attr of jQuery for Chiang type this input. After that, test this code. Consider the attribute we want to appear. After that, in iMacro press button record and edit code same last step for iMacro. First, I will use the recording method of iMacro as a basic.
and see I macro can fill in that target form or not if I macro can't fill form. We must change recording method of I macros to experimental event recording mode. After that use I macro record fill again. To this step you must have code I macro for fill form and edit it again. See example in video. Next example, the text field looks like text area, but when considering the HTML structure, it is not text area, but an HTML tag that is created for specific functions. We will see this HTML from the big web. For example, Facebook, how to filling information is this text area. You need iMacros recording mode to experimental event recording mode only. Okay, first I will close code as last test. After that I will press record button I macros test typing and stop record to edit. See example in video. As always this way to do, we need to find a reference point for iMacros to work on the spot. Especially working with experimental event recording mode only. We need to have a reference point as an id within the target HTML tag. If the HTML target point has an id reference then we can use that id for iMacro. From example, if HTML don't have attribute ID, we need to create it. How to create an attribute? For me, I can create my own attributes two ways. 1. Command of jQuery or 2. Using JavaScript command can do it. Here I will use the jQuery command to create my own ID attribute. First step, we check web page use jQuery already or not if this page use jQuery already. We can use command of jQuery for insert your ID to HTML target. And since the page does not have a attribute points to use the reference to create the attribute ID, I choose an attribute named data test ID to determine where jQuery refers.
And all this is a way how to import data from CSV files to be used for iMacro filling forms. I hope to benefit everyone. I'm sure there are many ways to work, as to create a video to introduce. I use a bot to explain all the methods. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry for this. Bye-bye.